Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 105, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And we are about to level up because we've been fighting some critters. Some of them are the natural inhabitants of the cave. The others are the beasties that the Sith released to clear out the caves because that made sense, right? And uh, let's uh, let's level up. We should be able to finish clearing out those beasties, and then we'll see what's at the other side of this ominous cave. So first, let's level up ourselves. Oh, Beach Duck, I, I know. I know how that goes. Um, I am going to keep awareness up, because that means that I, I'll be fairly ready for... Uh, crafting some of the stuff that requires awareness, because I think that's the one thing my main guy for crafting doesn't have. And this is the pretty much the way we've been doing it. I probably should put a couple more ranks in stealth, because I know that's going to come in handy a little bit later, but no. Oh well. Now, uh, that's I was building up the battle meditation line of powers. I mean, having the beast confusion would kind of be nice too, but I'm not going to make use of that. I get better uses for my, my points. So let's do the improved battle meditation. So that means that we'll go from plus two on attack damage and will saves to a plus two to attack damage and will saves. And additionally, any enemies within 10 meters that fails a will save suffers a minus two to attack damage and will. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Except. So that's me. Let's get Atten his next level. He gets an armed specialist, which is nice. And we bump up his treat injury and his stealth and his demolitions. Okay. And he gets the new lightsaber form, which is also nice. Let's go ahead and get him that master energy resistance. And accept. And now the handmaiden. Who... I have not, I, I kind of forgot to, I haven't checked on her, what we're doing with her in a while. Uh, other than she is definitely high dex, uh, low, low adjacent strength. And I probably ought to be bumping up her wisdom or her charisma when that next comes up. But, uh, oh, and she has light side mastery, which gives her plus three to strength. Okay. Um... That's nice. Not the coughing. The plus three to strength. Oh, coffee. All right, skills. Oh, that's right, because <laughs> because of the class she is, she gets a skill point. Singular. Bump up her treat injury. It's the only useful one she's going to be able to make use of. All right, and so she's capped out on two weapon fighting she does have conditioning so an improved conditioning could be nice oh she does get the weapon specialization lightsaber and no not advanced Jedi defense oh she's already uh, master toughness could be nice too I I think uh, she's already doing the two weapon fighting, so dueling's not going to be of any use. What was the other one that I was going to... Um, finesse lightsaber could be nice, although... 17, 18, so that's only a, a, a one point difference in the in the hit with, uh, with the bonus she gets from being that far to the light side. So maybe I'm better off... I might be better off giving her the weapon specialization because that's a plus two to damage with lightsabers. Yeah, I'm going to give her the weapon specialization lightsaber. That is nice. And uh, that's right, because she is wearing heavy armor, like with Atten, I've been giving her stuff that uh, benefits from not having armor. So she's already maxed out on her heals, her energy resistance, and force barrier. She hasn't doesn't have any of the stuns, which I might need to fix. Uh, although, 
giving you the advanced Thor lightsaber might be nice too. So let's add that. Okay. And that is everybody all leveled up. Nice. Save that game. Okay. And faster than the last level up. Alright, so we, let's uh, let's get back to clearing out these caves, shall we? Because I know I've picked up some interesting armor, and I'd love to I'd love to see if it's a bonus for anybody. But I don't think uh, yeah, I don't think anybody's going to be able to make use of it yet. Not until I can get to a crafting table and give it some bumps and bonuses. Would you put to that lightsaber? Get those lightsabers out again. Oh. There's nothing to loot on the critter. Okay. Let's uh, check out the jars here. Who leaves 161 bucks in a jar? Like, is this some Sith's loose change jar? Is is, is this the, that recycled water jug in the back that's collecting all the loose change that everybody kind of drops in it that's causing us to have a national shortage of change this is this is what that is isn't it okay <laughs> it's the non-swear jar <laughs> yeah what uh oh a corpse It'd be ashamed to leave his equipment behind uh, clarity and some accuracy gloves. I'm pretty sure somebody's going to be able to make really good use of those accuracy gloves. What, accuracy gloves or a non-swear jar? Or a swear jar? <laughs> Remember, these are the Sith, so they probably got to put a, a credit in the bucket every time they don't swear when they could have or should have. Alright, yeah, let's just uh, run in here. Try to hit him with a stun. That didn't work. All right. <laughs> that did. All right. And that worked so well. Let's do it again. Bam. Ah, fine. Come on. No, these aren't the creatures that were attaching to the Millennium Falcon in one of the good Star Wars movies. Those were Minox, right? These are these are uglier. I think. I don't know. Uglier is a little subjective there. Especially when we're dealing with these gun. Oh, uh, can I can I loot this first? I would like to. Oh. Another clarity thing. Always nice. Anything there? Nope. Let's uh, let the beasties fight it out amongst themselves real quick. While we fill in the map. Alright, you guys ready? Let's, uh, let's go speed and valor. And battle meditation. Alright. Let's rush in. Everyone down. Oh, that's right. I forgot she's got that force jump. Time to take you down to size. Come on. This will teach you. This will teach you. More where that came from. <laughs> there we go. Oh. More where that hey, came hey, from. hey, hey, hey. Don't don't leave me behind. Come on. This will teach you. Well, that went uh, fairly quickly. Nice. All right, and no interruptions from the invisible Sith crowd. I mean, the Sith that I totally didn't see, you know, wavering in their... Oh. Did, did I forget you? I'm sorry. Let me fix that. Or did these guys uh, respawn? That's actually a good question. I don't think they do. No, nowhere else has uh, anything respawned. On the other hand, there's those empty jars and that empty corpse. Huh. 
weird. Oh yeah, okay, so I just saw through there to, to fill out the map. I didn't actually go through there, so... There that is. Oh. oh! One of the critters did leave something behind. He left a life support pack. Because it did his last owner so much good. <coughs> Alright. And that is everything lootable here. Let's uh, save room before we cross the strangely quiet bridge in the ominous cave in the Sith planet. Alright, uh, matter of fact. Especially with something wavering in the distance like that. I wonder if I can go ahead and... Uh, Determination. That okay. That's plus to many opponents. That seems good. All right. Let's run across. Let's uh loot real quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. There you are. More where that came from. Get him! Get him! Oh! Where did he come from? Ah, doesn't matter. Everyone down! Come on, get over there. Swing that lightsaber. That does look rather precarious and dangerous on that tiny ledge. Uh, I'm pretty sure there would have been some uh, friendly casualties right there. Oh, seriously? Not a one of those guys had anything on them? No loot? Just just the corpse that I looted earlier? Oh. Alright, so if you remember from uh, Knights of the Old Republic 1, all we had to do was kill a beastie on that bridge, and that was pretty much the end of your questing here. I don't remember if there was actually something down at the end that was unused or if they're about to uh, uh, retcon something in there. But first, parts and components, always nice. Uh, okay, just checking. That's everything there. That sure is a long way down. Let's uh, go take care of those poorly hidden people. What, will they let us loot the jars first? I hope they'll let us loot the jars first. Ooh, a master robe. Although, I don't think I got enough anybody that's going to want to use those. Well, let's get those. And enemy sighted. All right, let's, uh, let's also get our battle meditation in. I'm not going to worry about the other buffs. And then we'll just uh, head... Oh, <laughs> hi. Hello, beasties. Oh. Probably gonna want to get a heal in there, too. Because somebody uh, leaping ahead of everybody seems to have caused a problem. <laughs> Let us test ourselves. Oh. Not that big a problem. Because there is everybody uh, all set and healed and ready. Alright. Now... I'm going to stand here and not on the pause screen because I'm waiting for my force points to regen. You see, we're about to enter a secret tomb. And all the light side characters get a bigger penalty than they've had anywhere else on Korriban. Like, where you are determines how bad a penalty you get if you're a light side. So, like, in the main of the valley, you only had a minus 30 or something. In the academy, it was like a minus 40. And this is like a minus 60 or 65 once you get in here. Like, it's that drastic a difference. Those are not the actual numbers, but it is a, a big difference. And likewise, dark side characters get a commensurate bonus, too. So... You only got a mild bonus when you're in the main valley. You got a bigger bonus in the academy. Uh, an even bigger bonus here in the cave, and you'll get a massive bonus when you enter the secret tomb. If you're dark side. 
which I'm not. But whether you're dark side or light side, once you enter the tomb and you start doing and you start encountering what you encounter there, you will not regenerate force points until you complete the tomb. So however many force points you have, that's all you have until you finish the tomb. It also means that you need to be very mindful of what powers you're throwing about. Because if you're a light side and you're trying to do a bunch of force push and stun, the dark side people you're running against have like a plus 60 or plus 65 to the save to resist what you're throwing at them. It ain't going to happen. So, when you do decide to use powers, use them sparingly, and if you're light side, focus more on the buffs. So, make sure that you, you've enhanced your speed, or your valor, or your resistance, anything that helps with those. So, that said and out of the way, let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, I'm going to at least enter there and we'll probably get to the first trial before I need to call it an episode. The power I felt coming through the cave is just ahead. Hmm. I Almost like you knew it was there. To explore the tomb ahead. This tomb has not been plundered. Its mysteries may still be intact, but so might its traps. Take great caution. <laughs> what is that? Can't go any further. This is a barrier of the dark side. I cannot pass. You will have to face the challenges of this tomb. Yeah, I'm alone. pretty sure everybody was going to have ready? a reaction. Yeah, everybody, pretty much everybody, nobody's able to follow you in here. You have to complete the tomb on your own. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and did I mention if you lose any of your battles, you start taking on dark side points? Ooh. All right, so I will go on alone. I could even play some Johnny Cash. I walk alone if I wanted a copy strike. Was that Johnny Cash? No, I don't think that was Johnny Cash. Who, who, who was it that sang "I Walk Alone"? Quick, somebody with the Google. <laughs> uh oh. Do not heed the words of the hey. Jedi Council. He looks familiar. Fall if we do not act now. Oh, Already this is more of that exposition. Have taken three systems along the rim. They will hmm. only grow more powerful with time. Yeah, this is before Come he fell. With me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together, we will battle this menace. Yeah. Probably was Johnny Cash. It sounds about right. Um, so it looks like we're about to have a first run confrontation with our history and we can choose how that went, which will help influence later dark side choices. So we could go enough with the games, draw your lightsaber and fight, which seems like a good way to lose these illusions. I, I think that's how that worked out the last time we saw something like this in action. You know, somebody went into a, a, a forest steeped in the dark side and saw a vision and just drew their sword and fighted. Ah, uh, this is a test. All of this is just a test. All right, let, let's go with I've been here. This is when you recruited me for the Mandalorian War. The Jedi Council is wise. Hmm. It will take too long to deal with Oh, this he still fight. has his jaw. We huh. must act now to stop the Mandalorians. I have heard of you. Your masters speak well of you, of your skills <laughs> in battle. Yeah, all that you've Join seen us. or seen. Alright, I joined without hesitation against the council. You won't take me to the dark side. The horde doesn't turn out how you expect. You should listen to the council. You're just a vision. I forgot how pompous Malik was before he tasted real power. That's tempting, but uh... uh no. 
You won't take me to the dark side. The dark side? This is survival. Huh. The council seems content to watch, to debate, while entire systems fall to the Mandalorians. If we don't act now, there may be no Republic army to assist in the future. In the future. I sense you will join us. <laughs> what are your reasons? All right, I had to do it. The council was taking too long. The Mandalorians would have won. I'm not going to tell you why. It's always an option too. The strongest of the order went there. I sensed opportunity. I wanted to fight, use my abilities to kill the enemy. Joining you is a mistake, a terrible mistake that haunts me to this very day. Where I couldn't sit by while so many suffered. I'm going to go with that one. That, that seems consistent with the answers I've given along similar lines in the past with this character. A good reason. Delay would have brought ruin. Hmm. And there was much suffering. You had to act. I keep noticing that all the other recruits it are walking over to his side. To end the war. And the council chose to debate behind closed doors while planets burned. Hmm. Uh, all right. So, we never gave them a chance to reveal their plan. I still won't tell you anything. My reasons are my own. I think they were making a mistake. We barely won the war just in time. When aren't they wrong? They're misguided fools. That doesn't seem the... the yeah, okay. I don't know what they were planning, but I should have trusted their wisdom. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what they were planning, but I should have trusted in their wisdom. Their vaunted wisdom bred only in action, and that would have led to destruction greater than anything born of the dark side. Yeah, about that. So, if you could do it all again, the real question is, would you? The Mandalorians await on the edge of space, eager to crush the Republic. Mm -hmm. You know how this turns out. Would you do it any different, knowing what it costs you? Knowing what it costs the rest? Hmm. miss the carnage of war? Never! That seems like a dark side option. I would have heeded the council's warnings. I wouldn't do anything differently. My choices have made me the person I am today. Ooh. That is a good question. Hmm. I'm going to... Let's go with the first one. So knowing all that would transpire, would you oh. still follow Revan and I? Excellent. Hmm. That doesn't seem like the right and answer. Now you are all alone. Would you join me now? You didn't follow Revan and I down our path. Join us. Your journey hasn't ended yet. <laughs> Wait, Basila didn't join you. She warned us all to obey the council. I didn't follow you then, and I certainly won't now. What's in it for me? Or I will join you. Uh, let's go with... I didn't follow you then, and I certainly won't now. Are you so certain? I am so Every certain. Step along the way. We did what we thought was right. Perhaps the same path lays before you. Yeah, okay, Darth Temptation. But the time of words are done. Now it is time you experienced... That's what everybody says. It's time you experienced the full power of the dark side. Alright, I didn't lose any light side points, or I didn't gain dark side points, depending on which way you want to look at it. Uh... Oh, there is Bastila. Off to the right. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I know she didn't. Alright. I'm going to focus on Malak, only because I know that that's how you get through this the quickest without dying. But, uh, first thing I need to do... Uh, I really want to do the Force Wave, but I know that's not going to do anything useful. So, I'll start swinging. I'll hit the Power Shield. And I should have a battle... St yeah, I got a couple of battle stimulants. Uh, I'll pop the 
big one there and then get back into the flurry. Uh, we'll see how well this goes. I probably ought to keep... Alright, health isn't doing too bad. Regen's helping with that. They're not hitting me as bad as I thought. Yeah, that does look like a lot of pain. Journal entry added. And they've all disappeared. Alright. I am tempted... Alright, that way is back out. I'm tempted to use a heal, but it looks like my regular regen is uh, taking care of my health. So... Let's, uh, let's check this side, and then the other side, and then I'll move on to the next vision. If I can go to either side. A lot of ominous running. Oh. Okay. I'm not gonna waste the powers. Oh, for serious. Fine. Let's uh, kill the one that's in front. Come on. Get him. Run it into the room and kill it. Look, pretend like you're Ray Eston. This is a bug. Run in there and kill it with fire. Actually, no. You wouldn't run into the room and kill it with fire. You go Arcadius... There, there's a bug. Could you kill it? Is there no loot in this place? What, what's the what's the point of this room if there's no loot? All right, so there's rubble there. <laughs> no, you'd throw things on it. Okay, that's fair too. And we got a hyper adrenal stamina. I thought I saw another lootable circle here. Just that one? That's all the lootables in here? That is all the lootables. That's kind of sad. I was expecting more than that. I mean, this is an unplundered tomb. <laughs> yeah, no, unfortunately, Force Lift is not an option. And I'm pretty sure the game's not going to let you uh, run around with, even if it did give you that option. I'm pretty sure it's not going to let you use force lift like a gravity gun. Although that would be cool. I think that's in the uh, the Fallen Order game, isn't it? Alright, then I guess we're back to doing the same. Let's uh, kill the flying thing. Get any bigger bug light. And I should be able to finish healing up uh, through natural regeneration. Because again, remember, while we're in this tomb, we do not regain force points. Otherwise, I would have been tempted to stun them and try to manage that combat a little bit better. Alright, nothing there, nothing there. Just a wicker footlocker. There's a lot in that wicker footlocker. Poison rocket, some components, a vertbine prototype shield, and 77 bucks. Who's 77 bucks did, uh... Who left 77 bucks in the wicker footlocker? Like, is this another variation on, uh, once you're dead you can't take it with you or something? Alright, that, uh... That appears to be all the lootables there, too. <sighs> okay. That said, back to the main chamber. And before I go into the next area, this is where, if you're watching on the live stream, hang tight, we're not done yet. If you're watching later on YouTube, then uh, you'll find out what's in the next room in a little bit. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, 
You can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.